in the featherweight division at UFC Saudi Arabia. Muhammad Namov comes in at 11-2 and, and takes on new opponent in Felipe Lima, who comes in at 12-1. and one. Now he was supposed to fight Bagdasarian. This fight got changed, so now Felipe Lima is making his UFC debut. Namov, three inches taller at 5'9". He's 29, Lima, Brazilian, 26 years old. Namov, 70-inch reach. He fights right-handed. Well, they both fight right-handed. He lands 3.3 significant strikes per minute and lands like two takedowns over the course uh, of three rounds on average. A little bit more on Lima in just a moment. Namov, 57% takedown defense. Not great when you're going up against a Brazilian, right? But he's a winner. He beat Eric Silva by KO. Took Nathaniel Wood to a decision where he won uh, four takedowns to two. Significant strikes was virtually even. He also KO'd Jamie Malarkey uh, in the second round, despite Malarkey leading in significant strikes and had three takedowns to none. He did lose to Colin Anglin by decision. Now, Lima, again, 12-1, and one, right? He's got four KOs, two submissions, six decisions. He was submitted once. But that was back in his uh, professional debut. Uh, following that, he's run off basically 11, excuse me, 12 straight wins. Fighting in places like FCR, Octagon, MMA, and even Brave CF, where he won a unanimous decision. So this is a very tough fight, and the odds makers got this almost even. And the reason they do is Namov is beating UFC fighters. Felipe Lima had one blemish on his on his record and sometimes that's because a guy becomes professional you know six months a year two years too early so he suffered you know he started out 0-1 and is now virtually undefeated that's why the odds are basically even but I'm going to lean with Muhammad uh, Namov not because I know that he's definitely going to beat Felipe Lima but I know that he's beaten UFC fighters Felipe Lima so has something to prove now Lima has also lost by submission. Namov can take the fight to the ground. Namov also has weak takedown defense, so look for Lima to utilize his takedown game if Namov uh, starts to dominate on the feet, uh, which he shouldn't because he's landing just 3.3 significant strikes per minute. So there's a lot of variables at play here, right? Making it very hard to make a sound prediction, not a, not a lot of common opponents, things of, those, uh, of that nature. So I just got to look at Namov and say he's more of the veteran. He's got the experience in this situation. I think Lima will do a good job in the UFC if they keep him around, right? But like his first pre uh, professional fight, he's going to fall on the first one before he gets better. So I like Namov to win this thing, to move to 12-2. and two. Very close fight. He wins by decision, really on control time here, in my opinion. Featherweight division, UFC, Saudi Arabia.